Alright, welcome back fellas um, and ladies. Uh, this play I wanted to show because um, a couple weeks ago there was a serious issue with the um, Miami Dolphins and their blitz zero look. So I found a play versus the Browns that the Browns tried to emulate that look. And it was a good play call. The execution wasn't the greatest, but I like the fact that there is an adjustment and there seems to be a plan versus this blitz zero look. Let's get into it. Um, so it's third and not sure what the down the distance is. Let me see. I might have it right here. It's third and 12. Third and 12. Third and 12. And so what happens is, again, this look is similar to that, that Dolphins look, but you got all these guys in the line. But, you know, the Dolphins had these two guys right there. But it's similar to that look. And you can see the leverage of the, the DBs kind of looks similar, eerily similar to what the Dolphins did. And I understand people doing this because we didn't have an answer for it in that game. And so the common sense is if you can't answer it, you know, if you can't stop it, you have an answer to it to keep doing it, copycat league. So let's talk about what happened on this play. So these four guys, one, two, three three four they basically run the screen four mean in the back if it ever come up pop up but anyway four is the back they run the screen and duvernay is their intended receiver duvernay is gonna come you know a little shallow drag but these four guys including this dude i don't know why i won't pick up that dude gonna block all right and so they're responsible for one two three and this linebacker those are the four guys they're responsible for because this guy and this guy go drop out. They're they not coming. I don't know if you remember or not, but these two guys are not coming. So let's run it. You know, and, and, and it looks like a bad call. We only get two yards out of it on third and 12. But in a sense, it's a great call. It just wasn't executed right. To me, it's a great call. It wasn't executed right. So what should happen is Andrews is going to go up and pick – the first kind of guy that he gets. And it's probably going to be this safety here. Duvernay's, no, it's going to be this dude. It's going to be this dude right here, I think. No, I'm lying. It's going to be this guy. It's going to be this guy. Duvernay, not Duvernay. I think this is Bateman. It's going to come underneath to seal him off. And he's going to run that guy off. And then Murray should clean up the first guy in the alley, which should be him. That's what should happen. That didn't happen. And, like, it's a great call to me. Bad execution by... Initially, this dude, which is Bateman. So if Bateman decides, okay, Mark's going there, so I'm coming underneath to seal in this, this inside linebacker, I got to wall him off. I can't let him get outside of me. Watch what Bateman does. No real effort to stop him. No real effort to stop him. Now, at this point, Murray, who's supposed to be going over top, you know, to seal that off, he sees this guy with outside leverage. Now he decides, okay, I got to block him because he's not blocked. So now you got two guys on one. Look at that. Now you got two guys going to block him and him scot free. Him scot free. And no matter how they pass it off, if he decides to go there and then even at the last minute Bateman turns back, now you have Duvernay catching this ball and getting up the field. With the only person really in position to catch him is this guy because he did a good job of running him off. And maybe he could turn around and get him after the fact, but we'd at least get a first down out of it or a chance to get a first down. And so we talk about Roman so much, you know, with the play call. I think this is a great adjustment to that blitz zero look. It just wasn't executed properly because of this lackluster effort blocking. And this may be one of the reasons why we don't see Bateman as much as we want to see him. No block, no rock. If you can't block and execute in the blocking game, you know, we really ain't going to trust you to put you out there because we're a run first team anyway. As much as we, you know, we got weapons to throw the ball now, we're still a run first team. So if he, and again, if Bateman seals that off, then Murray comes up and gets that guy. And we get underneath it, it's all gravy. It's all gravy. I don't know if it's a first down, but it's definitely better than a two-yard gain on third and 12. So, again, great play call, great adjustment to me to the blitz zero look because we definitely going to see it again, you know, on down the road until we, like, really, really prove we can can exploit it. But uh, this is just a look I saw in the game, and I wanted to talk about it and, uh, you know, break it down in detail more. I'll uh, see you guys soon. Live stream at 8.